Hello everybody, it's Pavo and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. So the more observant of you will notice that we have a new Zoo Crafter on the server, Edson. So I thought it'd be a good idea if we made him a little welcome package by making a backpack and filling it with presents and gifts and all sorts of food and goodies and then take it over to his house and leave it in a chest for him. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to craft one of the backpacks and I'm not actually sure how I do that, I don't remember, it's been a while since I've made one but I do know that you do in fact need leather for it and I have all the leather that I have here, this test is completely empty, completely void of leather so I am going to have to use another mechanic that is in the game I am going to have to turn this rotten flesh into leather via the use of, I think it's called a hot plate or a plate, what's it called, a cooking plate Let's see, um, I'm not going to be able to find it now, am I? Cooking plate, yes, here, cooking iron plate. And this basically allows you to turn rotten flesh into leather. And originally Ben did tell me about it, but I completely forgot. And it was only when it was brought up the other day in my comments, I thought that it would be a good idea to go ahead and craft one. So this is what we're going to begin with. We need five iron and we need a furnace. And I do indeed have 5 iron, I have 26 here, so this is all good. And furnace, where would this be? I'm sure I have one already made, I do. Now, in order for this to work, I have to put it over a heat source. Now, I'm not really sure what classes as a heat source. I was told that lava was probably the best thing, but I don't particularly want to burn down my house. So I'm going to be doing that far, far away from my house as possible. So let's just see if I have a bucket. And I'm sure I do somewhere. I haven't thrown it away, have I? Where is it? Oh my gosh, it might be in this chest here. I might have accidentally sorted it. I don't know. I have no idea. It will probably be around somewhere. I'm just very blind. I might just have to make a new one. It's quite easy and I have enough iron to do so. So... I now have to go venture down into the depths of the world and see if I can find some lava. Now that shouldn't take too long, oh yes, and ignore that cake on my floor, I kind of accidentally put that down there while eating, let's just take a quick slice of it. But I am going to have to go exploring in the caves and see if we can find lava. I do know that there is some, but how I get to it I have no idea. So. I think it was this way. This is my mine, and I've explained this in a previous episode, but I want to make it like a really fancy entrance, like with a proper sign that says like mine on it. You know like how those uh, typical western uh, movies have like mines, and they have like very rickety signs on the front. And this is not the way that I need to go. I need to go uh, this way? I don't remember. I also did expand this staircase as well just so that I could use it a bit better. I don't think this is going to take me anywhere near lava, but it might do. Uh, we'll have to see. But from what I remember, I don't think it does. It takes me down here and <laughs> there is no lava. Okay, let's take a, a trip back up. I promise you we will find it. Don't you worry. It's always the case that when you're looking for something, you can never find it. And when you don't want it, it's always everywhere. Maybe up here? I think that's a dead end. That is a dead end. We should be able to hear it. I can see it on my mini-map, it's just I don't know how to get to it. What about if I mine uh, here? Let's see. Let's see. This looks promising. This definitely looks promising. I've just got to remind myself how to get back up. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't want to get too lost. I'm going to go along this route. See if this takes me anywhere. Oh, this is taking me to a lava! I found it! Now how do I get to you? I'm going to have to head this way, and yes, I can grab that, that's cool. Okay, let's see, let's grab you. And what is this? Thorium, interesting. This is my silk touch pickaxe, isn't it? So it probably didn't drop anything. But I need to head back to the surface now, and see if we can turn this rotten flesh into leather. Okay, now where are my stairs? I am I yeah, give me a moment and I'll make my way back to the surface. So, I'm going to do it over here. My house is over there. So, hopefully nothing catches fire. But nothing beats the smell of burning rotten flesh in the morning. So, 
Let's just place this on there, and that should be good to go. I don't know whether it will burn me if I tread on it. I'm very tempted to see if it does, but at the same time, I don't want to be burnt into a crisp. Oh well, I'm gonna try it. Okay, yes, it definitely does set me on fire. But what I need to do is, I guess I just, do I right click it? Yes, I do. And I think that should, oh, that was very quick. Can I stop burning now, please? Do I have to jump in that river? I might have to. Okay, that was a bad idea. Ah. Note to self, kids, never try that. Never try this at home. <laughs> so luckily I don't have to go too far to get my stuff back, and hopefully everything is in here. Ah. That was such a stupid thing to do. I don't know why I did that. But I, I guess we have leather now. <laughs> okay, let's just continue cooking this. I might cut the video in a second though, because this is going to get a bit repetitive. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you in just a few seconds. So I've cooked 40 pieces of leather now, and that should be good enough to build umpteen backpacks. And I'm going to remove this death trap in case anybody else treads on it. And I'm just going to pick up this lava as well, because that is also just as bad as a hot plate. And where did that block of dirt go to cover that hole up. Let me just take this. I don't know. I don't know where that went. But let's head inside and we'll go and we'll craft a backpack. Now I wonder what colour he'd like. I don't know. I'll see what dyes I have downstairs. Or I might just give him a regular backpack. I guess that's probably easiest. And he can dye the backpack whatever colour he wants. Now that's even hoping that he doesn't have a backpack. But oh well. They are very useful things. And I'm going to eat the last slice of that cake. Now... To make this backpack, I need tan leather. To make tan leather, I need bound leather. To make bound leather, I need lots of string and some leather. And this is hoping that I have enough string to do so. I have 47 pieces. Now, I hope that is enough to make eight pieces of uh, leather. Let's see. Very, very close. But I need two more. So let's make six of these. I will pop these in a furnace. Is there any way that I can make... Hang on, I need some fuel for this as well, don't I? I have no fuel! Let me grab some planks. Let's take some of these skeleton planks. I have lots of these up in the attic. Um, let's toss these in there and we'll toss the band leather in. Now is there any way that I can make string? I need flax. I don't have any flax. I don't have any cotton either, but I think I have some wool. So where is the wool kept? Let's see. Um, my sorting system is very confusing. I have one bit of wool. This, it probably isn't going to give me all the string that I desire, but it's going to help. So let's shred this wool into three bits of string, and that will allow us to make another bit of bound leather, like that. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need six more pieces of string. So I need to just go out and see if I can find a sheep to shear and hopefully that will allow us to make another piece of bound leather. Now the only sheep that I know of is Blueberry and I don't really want to shear her. There is a sheep there. It's all good. It's all good. My dilemma is sorted. Now I probably should have taken the bridge but I'm gonna have to do a bit of swimming unless I can jump across this. I don't want to get my boots wet. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Ignore that. Okay, and we only got one bit of wool, really? Are you serious? There's another one over there. Let's let's shear this one. This is a goat. I was gonna say, can you shear goats? But probably not. They wouldn't drop anything. They'd probably just attack you. There we are. Now this should be good. Yeah, that's definitely good. That one dropped three pieces. So there we are. We have all the string we need and plenty more. So we'll head back and we will finish this backpack. And then I've got to go and I will make some food. My garden over there has expanded drastically. I'll, I'll show it off once we've got the backpack ready. And I think I'm gonna take some of the essence berries because essence berries are very, very useful on the server and I have um, not enough room to place them all down. So I'm gonna grab, I've only got one, really? That's not a very good gift. Let's see if I've got any more in the chest down here. I should do, because I remember carrying them around a bit. Um, I don't appear to, but I might as well just dismantle some of the ones I've got. 
let's make another bit of barn leather. Oops, I've just thrown the string on the floor and we will put the leather back in here and we'll put the string away, where'd it go? And we will smelt this bit of leather and we'll just wait for this to cook very quickly. Come on, come on, come on. I'm getting a bit impatient. I just want this backpack ready. I've died, I've died for this backpack. It's got all the blood, sweat and tears in it. Okay, here we are. And we have a big backpack. Okay, now I've got to be careful not to mix it up with my own. Um, actually, can I dye it? How do I, how do I dye these backpacks? Oh, I should have done it. Should have done it like that. I, d I don't think you can, but we're gonna have to go with a blank backpack and I'm gonna name it Edson's backpack just so I can differentiate it from my own. And we will go ahead and we will give him some of these essence berries. I'm going to dismantle some of my bushes. So I'm gonna get rid of this, these, and he can have them. And if I come across any more in the wild, I'm going to, I'll, I'll plant those back. But I do have the ones in the basement as well, so I'm not too worried about that. But we'll put them, I'm already confusing my backpacks. I uh, will put these, where should we put them? Let's just put everything in for now and later we can sort everything out. Let's take some of these essence berries. Yeah, we'll, I'll put these in as well because we don't need those. And I guess we'll see what other things we can give him down here. Um, maple chips are always good. I don't have many of these so I guess he'll only get a stack of those but we'll put those in there as well. And maybe some minerals. I have a lot of lapis, so I guess I'm going to give him some of these and possibly some diamonds as well. I'd say, how many would you would you would you say was generous? I'd say 16 might be a tad too generous, but hmm, I'd say, let's go with eight. Let's go with eight, and I'd give him some iron, but I don't really have enough of it, so maybe not. Here are my essence berry bushes. They're in here. Okay, now I feel a bit silly for destroying those, because they were here all along. I might be able to give him a few more, actually. Although five is actually a nice number, but we'll go ahead and we'll give him eight. All these are multiples of eight, so they're good, except the lapis. But I'm going to turn the lapis into this. Still, <laughs> that's not a multiple of eight, definitely not. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can make this multiple of eight. I don't know. Let's see. That's definitely a multiple of eight, 24. Okay, we'll put those in there like that. And what else? What else? Now I think we need to get some food. So I'm going to head out to my garden. I'm going to see if any crops are ready. I might actually take some cheese. I might make some of that ratatouille that I made last time. Let's see how I, how I do that again. I know that we need onions and we need some of the other maple tree vegetables. So I'm going to take the onions and the was it the eggplant? I think it was. It might be the radish. Let's just check. Let's check. Uh, tomato, un tomato, onion, eggplant, cheese. So we should be good there. Tomato, which one that be in? Fruit? Yes, it would be. Tomato, onion, eggplant, cheese. Yes, there we are. And we'll make some of this ratatouille. And I do have lots and lots of the harvest craft crops. Actually, it goes in here, doesn't it? So uh, cheese, onion, eggplant and tomato and we'll let that process for just a second and I'll grab some milk from here let's take four of these and I will just put this in the dryer the fermenter thingy over here so we get more of this cheese there must be a way to speed up this process making cheese is so difficult and we'll get this I'm, I need some bowls as well so let's see where my bowls are kept where are my bowls kept over here, not by the looks of things, but I'm going to grab this chest while I'm here and I'm going to grab this sign and maybe a book as well. I might write in my book. There we are. Yeah, I'll write in my book. So I'm going to grab a book. I'm going to grab, let's see, a feather and an ink sack and we can make a written book like this. Like that. Yeah, there we are. And are the bowls in here? They must be. They must be. Yes, they are. Perfect, so we'll go up and let's see what else we can make once we've made the ratatouille. I need to take this out of here and 
I've still got that lava. I need to put that away, else I'm going to end up burning my house down. And I won't be very pleased at that. So let's take all this ratatouille. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, all that ratatouille. And that can go in the backpack as well. And yeah, I'll put the, the book there for just a moment. And let's see, let's just go visit the garden and we'll see what's uh, what's growing. I could take some of these, some of these different berries. I think I can make these into different jams and things, so we'll give that a go. Let's just grab all of them. Like so. Okay, what can we make these in? We can make them into these things, but I think we might make a few turnovers because I have all the ingredients for this. Sugar, wheat and egg. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll make a few turnovers. I think uh, that'd be good. So we've got blueberries, we've got elderberries, gooseberries, huckleberries. So yeah, let's make some turnovers and I guess maybe, uh, I was going to say cake, but that's going to be a bit difficult. I think we might just have to settle with ratatouille and some turnovers. So I'm going to head down here. I'm going to grab some wheat. I'm going to grab some eggs. I'm going to toss some of this rotten flesh away and also some other blocks that I don't need. And what do I need? I need sugar cane. So I'm going to grab some of this. Let's grab that. And we will make we'll make the food up in the kitchen, not on the dirty floor. Okay. So let's give this a go. We'll take these mushrooms out. How do I do this again? Usage. Here we are. Uh, can I not turn the blueberries into anything? Okay, that's that's annoying. I can make a berry bowl, but I'm going to make a beauty berry turnover. So I need uh, two there, two there. I need sh two sugar. I need two wheat and two eggs. And we've got four of those. Okay, can I do it with the elderberries? I can make elderberry sorbet. I could do that. Elderberry sorbet. I can make elderberry spritzer. I need sugar. I need a glass bottle for that though. I don't have any. Um, I think I'll make some of this sorbet as well. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. And I'm going to grab uh, some milk. Let's see. Let's make this sorbet. Uh, yeah, this. Oops. Yeah, this one here. So we'll pop that there. We'll pop the milk there pop the sugar there and this either side and we'll get some sorbet and I'll put these in the backpack as well. We've only got one of those which is a shame but uh, that's all I can make. What about the orange berries? We can make orange berry square. That sounds so nice. Let's make one of those or two of those rather. Okay so eggs where do you go? Eggs, sugar, two orange berries. There we are. I hope these things are actually edible because uh, I've never made them before and I hope that I'm not just give, giving him some odd things but I hope they are anyway okay and we've got some huckleberries what can I make with these huckleberry tart okay that sounds even more delicious than the other things so we'll put these in it is a similar recipe isn't it so we've got two of those what about blackberries what can you make with black blackberry danish these things just get better this is making me so hungry and two there, two there, and two sugar. And then finally, what can we do with gooseberries? We can make gooseberry cobbler. That doesn't really sound as nice as the others. And this looks a bit disgusting, if you ask me. I don't really like gooseberries, but we will go ahead and we will make one of these anyway. I'm sure he'll like it. Yeah. Just as long as he's not like, uh, a gluten-free diet because <laughs> oops so let's go ahead and we'll sort this out so I'm gonna put the food in the middle like this and I guess uh, to the top like that actually I could do that with the Danish as well so the Danish could go like that uh, there like that yes there we are and I'll put the book in the middle and oh my gosh Okay, I just realized this is an odd number, isn't it? So this is going to annoy me a bit, but let's figure this out. If I put that there and I put uh, this like that, uh, I don't know. There definitely is an art to doing this that I've not yet mastered. Let's, let's just try and figure it out. Okay. Hmm. 
Just give me a moment. So here we are, I've also written the book for him, though I won't display it on camera. If you want to see what it says, you're going to have to go check it on Edson's channel. That's hoping that he does read through it. So we're going to head over to his place. He doesn't have a teleporter, but you, he's built close to Mara's old house, so it's not too far away. But I am running on low hunger, so I'm just going to quickly grab some of these avocados from this tree that I've neglected for way too long. And we'll just nibble on some of these. I am quite sad that these don't heal up much of uh, the hunger bar. But that just means that I have to eat more and more avocados. So I'm not really complaining. But let's just... Uh, we'll go to... I think it's Mara's Meadow. And he has built... Let's see... I think it's over here. I'm sure we'll come across it. And let's, yeah, which, which direction are we going? So we need to get across the river and over there. This is probably a trip that one of my horses would have liked to come on, but they're all in the stables, so, so we're gonna have to go by foot. But that's fine by me. And if I see any of those Mimijis nearby, I'm gonna grab one because I need some help harvesting up my new farm. And where are we going? I think it's this way. Well, I hope it's this way. Oh, it's one of those evil boars. And let's just grab some of these uh, berries from these bushes. What was that? I think it was a strawberry. It was. Are we going the right way? N night time is falling, and I don't have a bed. So we better get there very, very quickly. What is this? Pear tree. No, I get distracted. Um, I think we went the long way around. There seems to be a giant mountain in the way, and... Oh, an apple tree. A pear and an apple tree. Wow. There seems to be no way through this mountain. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to have to go this way. And just hope for the best. Hope that I don't get attacked by any skeletons or creepers or werewolves or anything. Okay, up, up here, I think. Should be, should be. Yes, this looks like it. And there's also a lava, a lava spill there. So, I just hope that doesn't burn down that lovely redwood forest. Oh, look at you, you're so pretty. I also hope it doesn't burn me either. We don't want a uh, repeat of the hot plate adventure that happened earlier. Okay, so I think I think he built near here. Ugh. Why? Creeper, why? Why did I decide to come at a time that was so late? I don't know. And once again, I'm running low on food. It was near here, wasn't it? I hope it was. Oh gosh, okay, stop, thanks. Um, I think it was. I think it was. I think it's just over the brow of this hill, which is going to take me a while to get over, because I have no sprint energy left. C can you creepers, can you go away? You are such a nuisance. Let's see, do I have anything that I can eat? I've got some wheat. I can make some bread, but I must have been chased by a billion zombies, so that's not good. Okay, here it is. Here is Edson's temporary home, and there's also a creeper there. So let's just head inside. I'm sure he won't mind if I just quickly use his bed. He won't know, will he? I hope he doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just quickly use the bed. Okay, and now I hope all those werewolves have gone away, because I just heard one howling. And where should we leave his present? I think if we leave it... Creeper, no! If I leave it right outside his door, then I'm sure he'll come across it. Uh, let's see. So if I place it down... Uh, let's see... Should I put it here? Like this? Yes. And inside we'll put the backpack. I'm just going to double check I've got everything. I think I do. So let's pop that in there, and we'll put a sign on the front going uh, welcome gifts uh, from oh I'll just I'll just leave it like that if you read the book he'll know who it's from and with that once I killed this creeper I might have to warn Edson that his place is infested with creepers but with that I will end the episode as always, the code is on screen, and a few of you have been asking what the codes are for, and basically, if you have an account on my website and you redeem them, you will earn Pavo points, which will then be used to buy NPCs and adopt animals in the zoo, 
Though currently you can't really buy anything yet. I've still got a major revamp of my website to do, but you can still like hoard up all your PowerPoints and use them in the future. So yes, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye! Bye!